so we just created a system where using gemini api we can fetch the latest trending topics and put it into google sheets as and when we want hello and welcome to day six of the na10 series yesterday we saw how to connect gemini api into the na10 flow and we also fetched two new trending ai topics from gemini or rather using gemini but the output was not formatted well and we didn't have each of the details going into different columns because that's how ai response will be it generally gives us in the json format and we have to format it so that it can go into different columns and for that we use something called data manipulation so in today's video let's see how data manipulation works so this is where we left yesterday so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this a bit far and then remove this connection let's go here and we have data formation so let's get inside and then we have a lot of options let's go with date and time first and uh, we have a lot of options like add to a date extract part of a date uh, format a date and so on and so forth uh, let's do format a date okay and uh, we have this one so just before we get to that point what i have to do is i have to get it over here and connect this here double click go back uh, execute previous nodes so you get the date from the previous node it's taking a while and there you go so we have got this if we go here we can get this now and put it in date and the format if you want just the date you could use this if you want it along with the uh, time then you could uh, add custom format right and put it the way you want something like dd mm y y y y okay four y's space maybe h h and mm format a date let's click on execute step and there you go it says 27th of july 2025 and at 1439 right um so once you are done with this, you can just like somewhere outside. And now we have to manipulate the data that we have got from the LLM. Now as a next step, let's go here and we have to transform the data. And for that, let's go here. And we could use uh, some of the available uh, options here to split the data and then get the data into multiple columns. But let's try doing it using AI. AI transform. Modify data based on instruction written in plain English. So let's use that. But before we get there, because we need the previous steps to be executed, right? Uh, so let me just drag it over here, remove this connection and connect this, right? Once this is done, we could double click and put the uh, instruction over here. Now, because we connected it, we have already got the data from the previous step. So what I'll do is I'll just drag it and drop it over here. Okay, which becomes the text from previous step. And I'll put the prompt, read the data text, let's say from basic LLM chain output and split the data into multiple records. Okay, key double double colon value pair is formatted in this week. Okay, remove any extra spaces added in tabular data each record starts with this particular symbol right we can see here the record starts with this one and then we have name double double colon because that's how we asked the llm to give us the output and the reason why we asked it to give it that way is because that we can format it the way we want right so once this is done we can click on execute step sometimes it doesn't run with the first prompt we have to fine tune it but let's see so it has given us the data this way let's go to the table and you can see here the name the release date the url and all of it has come the way we wanted it to right once this is done we have to change this sheet because right now this is connected to this particular sheet which has just two columns one is date and one more is tool details right uh, we need each of them to be in separate column 
And for that, I've created one more sheet already, which has the name, release date, URL, description, main features, monthly price in INR, why is it trending, why it is trending? No, it's why is it trending? A reference video, right? So once this is available, what we do is we connect this one over here. Okay. And we could change the URL of the sheet. Copy this. Okay, I have to remove this. I don't know why double click doesn't select all of the text in that particular field. But let me do that. And from list, yes. And we could select sheet one and map each column manually. It says name. We could go over, we'll go to the table. Name goes over here and release date would go over here. URL will go over here. And likewise, all the other fields, main features, monthly price, why trending, reference video. Once you're done with all of this, click on execute step and you should be seeing that. Let's go to Google Sheets and there you go. We have the first one here, the second one here, the release dates, the what is say URL, the description of those platforms. We could just format this so that it comes neatly. We have uh, main features, right? Uh, this could also be prop text. And then we have monthly price. This could also be formatted like this. Why is it trending? We'll use wrap and the reference video. We will also use wrap. So let's quickly check if this is fine. We're talking about Luma AI Dream. Oh no, this is not available. So we'll have to format it a bit, right? Uh, again, this could also not be available. Yeah, there you go. So if the videos are not available, then we have to ignore it. So that requires fine tuning in the model. But today's topic is not about fine tuning the model. It is about how do we transform the data? right so we did two transformation one is the date and time and one more is this one date and time we didn't use uh, we had done this uh, for some other purpose but we didn't use it so i'll just delete this right uh, ai transformation i don't know why it got broke i think it should be just fine because that's precisely what we want let me click on execute step we have it and yeah there you go and once you're done, just click on save and you could use this one tidy up. So it comes in a neat way, right? And that's it. And there you go. So we just created a system where using Gemini API, we can fetch the latest trending topics and put it into Google Sheets as and when we want. Now, this could also be run on a schedule which means it keeps running every day every week every month or twice a day or whatever it is we will be covering schedule very soon but for tomorrow's video we will be using openai to generate an image and to post that on linkedin so let's see how that functions do not miss tomorrow's video see you on the next one.